In this lab, you need to configure point-to-point -point protocol or PPP. Okay, so we'll start the required tasks first. The first thing we need to do is configure the link between customer one and ISP one with PPP. So in other words, this link here needs to be configured with PPP. I'll start with ISP one. The ISP router has booted up. Go to enable mode, show IP interface brief. We can see in the output that this interface gigabit 001 is configured with this IP address 8.8.8.2. .8 Interfaces up up. This interface serial 010, the link to the customer is currently administratively shut down. Show interface serial 010 shows us that this interface is configured with the default encapsulation of HDLC. The interface is once again administratively shut down, so layer one and layer two are down. Notice again that the default encapsulation is HDLC. So I'll go on to the interface and configure an IP address because no IP address is currently configured on the interface. So IP address 8.8.10.1. The subnet mask used here is a slash 24 subnet mask. In the real world, on point-to-point -point links, you're probably going to want to use a slash 30 mask to conserve IP addresses. But in a lab like this, we don't have to worry too much about that. Next thing I'll configure is the encapsulation, which I'm going to set to PPP. And then I'll no shut or enable the interface. So show interface serial 010. Interface is currently up at layer one. Layer two is down because we haven't configured the other side of the link. Notice the encapsulation is now PPP. LCP or link control protocol is closed. NCPs or network control protocols such as IPCP and CDPCP are also closed because the link is down. So show run. That's the configuration of the ISP side. Let's do something similar on the customer side. So show interface serial 010. The physical interface is up, but the line protocol is down. That's because the encapsulation is HDLC on this side but on the ISP side, it's PPP. So again, show interface serial one slash zero on the ISP side. Layer one is up, layer two is down. Same on the other side. Layer one is up, layer two is down. The routers are using different encapsulations, so we need to configure them to use the same encapsulation. Before I do that, do show IP interface brief. Notice on this side, the serial interface is administratively enabled. So hence, we got the status up, down, rather than down, down. So on this side, IP address 8810.2 slash 24 mask. And the important part is encapsulation PPP. Notice the interface has now come up. So the line protocol has come up. So show interface serial 010. Layer one is up, layer two is up. We are connected. LCP is open now. Two NCPs have been negotiated. IP version 4, 
and Cisco Discovery Protocol or CDP. So because both sides are now using the same encapsulation, layer one is up as well as layer two and they've negotiated LCPs and NCPs. As an example, an LCP that's not negotiated here is authentication. The routers are not using PPP authentication, so that will not be negotiated by the LCPs. But other options will be negotiated. So can customer one ping the ISP that has this IP address? Answer is yes, it can. So we've successfully configured PPP between customer one and ISP one. Now we need to configure this side, but use PPP chap.